This TA Tech Tip is on how to use your TGA to get some very simple basic kinetics data and compare the relative stability of two things. It could be polymers, could be compounds, could be anything that you want to know the relative stability of each of these. Uh, this very simple polymer stability experiment is for your TGA and is very useful in comparing uh, say a number of different polymer samples that may be showing different stability characteristics. Maybe different lots of materials of polyamid or polypropylene are showing uh, a tendency to degrade faster than others and this is a good way of evaluating whether there is in fact a a large difference in the activation energy of a, of a degradation experiment. It's based on the Arrhenius function and what we're going to do here is set the uh, the heating rate which we represent by the Greek letter phi equal to the Arrhenius function. Uh, we take the natural log of both sides and and we obtain basically a line uh, of the form y equals mx plus b where as we said phi is the heating rate the intercept of the line is A, which is our pre-exponential. Uh, delta E is the activation energy in kilojoules per mole. Uh, T is our temperature in degrees Kelvin. And R is our universal gas constant. Uh, the experiment itself is very, very simple. Uh, we run the TGA experiment on the polymer at four different heating rates using the same gas. Uh, it's typically nitrogen or air or even maybe oxygen if you choose. Uh, for our experiment, we, we chose Teflon and we ran it in nitrogen. Uh, obtain the temperature at an isoconversional point, for example, where 2% weight loss occurs for each heating rate. You then plot the natural log of the heating rate versus 1 over T, and the temperature units, of course, must be in Kelvin. The slope of the line is going to be equal to minus delta E over R, so multiplying the slope of the line by minus 8.314 times 10 to the minus 3, which is our gas constant, uh, we obtain the activation energy in units of kilojoules per mole. This is our data. Uh, you can see that we ran this at, uh, at four different heating rates, 2.5, 5, uh, 10, and 20, and we obtained the temperature at which 2% of the weight loss occurs and converted that to Kelvin and plotted it. So here's a summary of our data. Here's our heating rates here. Uh, we obtain the natural log of the heating rate and the temperature at which 2% weight loss occurs. That gets converted to Kelvin and we plot the natural log of the heating rate versus the reciprocal temperature and we end up with an intercept of 46.3 which is A, our pre-exponential and the slope of the line is minus 34,748.5 which we then multiply by our gas constant and we end up with a activation energy of 288.9 kilojoules per mole. Um, you can see that our function is very linear. Uh, our correlation is, is very high, 0 0.9987 for our R squared. So our data looks very good and uh, obviously the lower the activation energy, the more susceptible this material would be to degradation or, or potentially the less stable this material is. This obviously is a very simplistic method for doing this. If you need more detailed kinetics information, may I suggest Specialty Library by TA Instruments. Contact your local sales representative for a demo.